Hey there everyone, welcome to the first Keller Williams Consumer App Tutorial video in our KW App series. I'm Jeffrey Hastings with the McDonald Hastings team at Keller Williams Market Pro Realty in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Today's video is just a quick introduction to the new KW Consumer App. There it is right there, the white button with the red letters. That's the one you're going to be looking for. Now there's a few different ways to get the app. You can download it from the Google Play Store or Apple iTunes Store. You just search for Keller Williams mobile app. You can click on a link that's provided by a Keller Williams Realtor like me or Heather, or anyone who already has the app can actually share it directly with you as well. It's one of the great features inside the app. So once you download the app, it'll ask you to create a login. So you just provide your email and create a password. And once you do that, you'll be logged in and the search screen dashboard will appear. It'll look just like this. Uh, if for some reason the map that pops up is not showing where your current location is, you can just click on the search bar at the top and click on current location. And it will show a blue dot right where you are on the map. Um, this is a great feature if you're out driving around and you really like a neighborhood or an area you can instantly see what current properties are for sale and what their list prices are. Now you can also search for any location in the country. If I wanted to search for properties in Austin, Texas, I can also put that there and it'll take me there and I can just zoom in to whatever area in Austin that I'm looking for. But if you want to just look at what's around you, you just click on current location and it'll take you right to where you are. Um, you can also pinch the screen, zoom in, zoom out, just kind of get to whatever area you're looking for and it'll show you all the properties that are available in that area. So that's just a, a, a great thing to know while you're driving around. Now we're going to be doing more specific videos on the key individual features that are built into the app. So I'm just going to highlight the basics here today in this video. So at the top, you see that you can instantly adjust your preferred price range, number of bedrooms, property type right there. Uh, it gives you a way to um, just really quickly narrow down the searches. So you can do, use the sliders for your price range. If you're looking between a certain price point, you can do that there. Just click done. It'll save that for you. You can go back to it and just adjust the sliders again. Click any. Click done. For beds, it's the same. If you have a certain number of beds, you can put that in. If there's a property type you're looking for. If you're just looking for houses, you can click on houses and it'll just search for just the houses and show those. Um, if you toggle that back off, it'll show all available property types uh, in the area. Now the more button that's right here, that actually is going to be its own uh, specific video tutorial in our series that's coming up just because it has so um, many more specific ways to narrow down your criteria and really, really hone in your search on what you're looking for. So be looking for that video um, that's coming up in the future. If you look at the bottom of the search screen on the dashboard, you'll see search and feed, guide, saved, and more. That's right down there. Um, the search button on the left with the magnifying glass, that basically just takes you back to this home screen. That's right here. So if you're on any of the other tabs and you hit back to search, it'll just take you right back to your search screen. Um, the feed button allows you to keep track of um, your activity with any saved searches or collections or agent info or communication. If you have a co-buyer, you can add a co-buyer on under the more tab and that actually shows just communication between you and the co-buyer. The guide button, you'll see that there's a buying and a selling guide that's included on here and it really just gives you a step-by-step -step timeline of the process if you're not really familiar with either the buying or the selling process. And you can click on any of those individual boxes and it gives you a lot more details. We'll have another separate video on these coming up soon as well. The saved button at the bottom of the heart just shows any saved properties that you have. You can save them into specific collections and name them and you can um, keep track of any of the properties that you're interested in there. And then the more button down at the bottom of this page right there 
And that has a number of other key features uh, that'll also have its own video tutorial. In fact, it'll probably be the next one that we post just because it incorporates uh, a number of valuable features for this app. One of the other things um, that I'll talk about in this video before we end it is one of the new features. If you click on any property, you'll see there's buttons where you can schedule a video tour or you can ask your agent a question about that. So we'll talk about that in another upcoming video, but I just wanted to point that out because that's a new feature that was just added to the app recently. Um, so once you have the app, just get in, start exploring it. You can't break it. Be sure to um, ask us any questions. If you have any questions, you can post them in the comments below. If you're already using the app, we'd love to hear your thoughts about the app itself and any, any ideas that you might have or things that you like about it. Um, so uh, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified when we have the next video in the series coming up. And by the time we're done with our series, we'll have uh, explored the app in full. So thanks to y'all for watching. This is Jeff Hastings, McDonald Hastings team with Keller Williams Market Pro Realty in Fayetteville, Arkansas. We provide all of our clients with championship service. Just remember to be safe and be kind and let's take care of one another. Thanks guys.